Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Bear Hill Gang TV and PA Sprint Car Live. As I promised you uh, earlier this afternoon, uh, we're going to be doing some pre-race interviews. And what about this, ladies and gentlemen, the voice of the Williams Grove Speedway, Mr. Bruce Ellis joins me. Bruce, thank you for taking some time and uh, joining us here at uh, PA Sprint Car Live. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I tell you what. A lot of excitement is in the air. It took about three years, but it looks like we're going to get all three days in of the National Open. It's too early to say that. Okay. You know, the weather forecast looks great, but I, mean, I think we're going to have a really beautiful weekend, and certainly it is excellent tonight. Absolutely. We have a great field of cars uh, in the pit area so far, ladies and gentlemen. I think my last count, uh, we were up to around about 47 to 48, 410 sprint cars in the pit area, and that's always great to see. Absolutely. And when you get 47 or 48 here, you know you're getting the best in the business. Absolutely. I mean, you have uh, uh, good invaders, uh, obviously James McFadden. Believe it or not, this is James' uh, very first National Open. Certainly a candidate for the Rookie of the Year Award, Absolutely. sponsored by the Beer Hill Gang. Uh, yes, sir. And, uh, you know, all, uh, Brian Brown is here. Good to see both Madsons are here. You know, Ian Madsen, this is uh, his first race here at DeGrove. I thought, Aaron, Aaron, yeah. I thought Ian was here several years ago when he was racing with the World Outlaws. Actually, he was. Good call. Yeah, he was in the Bill Rose car when Bill Rose yes. was uh, injured for a little bit. Ian came in, and, and good to see you. And obviously, we have a regular, uh, Brock Zirfoss, who won the last. Word of Outlaws show here, and uh, we just had a conversation here about Brock, and he is having a real good season uh, ever since he got that win here. Absolutely. You can see what confidence can do for a sprint car driver. Absolutely. I mean, since his win, he was undefeated for the month of August at Port Royal. Uh, he won again here. He's had several podium finishes in big races, so he is to be taken seriously from now on. Yeah, absolutely. He is a force to be reckoned with. Now, real quick, Bruce, the uh, let's get a little background for some folks that quite don't know you. Uh, how long have you been here announcing at Williams Grove? This is actually my 30th anniversary wow. of announcing at Williams Grove. I've been here since 1982. I started out as the publicity director. But, right. uh, my first race that I announced was actually the National Open in 1987. So this is my 30th anniversary. Now, uh, when I interviewed you last year at Knoxville, you said pretty much one of the greatest memories of the National Open was when Fast Freddie Raymer got that win. Besides that, what other moments of the National Open stick out in your mind? Probably the first one. Yeah? Um, we had... We were really plagued by rain that week. Uh, we managed to get Friday night show in after rain delay, and then it rained all day Saturday, and it took all day Sunday to dry the track. The rain date was supposed to be Sunday afternoon. It turned out to be Sunday night because it took that long to dry the track. Wow. And uh, Joey Allen in Bob's backup car drove by Dave Blaney and Doug Wolfgang to win the National Open. So wow. that, was, that was pretty memorable. Wow, especially when you drive by Doug Wolfgang in the 80s. That's uh, something to be very proud of. Absolutely. And also having the prestigious event of getting the Williams Grove National Open underneath your belt. Bruce, you've been around uh, a very long time. Like I said, you also write for Sprint Car Midget as well. Yes. And uh, your articles are, are very good. I told you that. And uh, you definitely make that uh, magazine something to buy. Uh, you do a very good job in that. But uh, what other maybe rookie drivers that we have in the area uh, stick out in your mind that are here this evening? Uh, certainly Matt Campbell. Yeah. Is looking, he's not a rookie. No. But, I, I mean, just as far as a young guy, he was co-rookie of the year by the National Sprint Car Poll last year. But, I mean, he's very impressive. Of course, just got a win here. Anthony Macri, who is a rookie in this race, also is looking very good this year. He's been fast all year here. His, uh, his records don't show that because his finishes haven't been real good, but he's been fast. And he's certainly a candidate for Rookie of the Year honors uh, in the National Open also. Yes, he is. And he uh, also has that uh, first ever feature win here about a month ago, I want to say, or maybe less than that, a couple weeks ago, here at Williams Grove Speedway. So for look out for Matt Campbell to also have a great finish here. And uh, like I said, folks, we have a great field of cars here. And obviously, uh, the Ward of Outlaws, Tony Stewart, is in the house as I look in the back pit area. He is here right next to Donnie Schatz. And, you know... Donnie Schatz, what can we say? Uh, I like to say that the Williams Grove is his playground sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. 19 career wins here and a limited amount of starts. You mentioned Tony. I believe he's a rookie for the National Open. He Series. is a rookie. Uh, Tony Stewart does have one career win here. However, that is in the 360 yes. division. But, yeah, believe it or not, Tony Stewart Smoke is eligible for the National Open Rookie of the Year Award. Obviously, Bruce Ellis is joining me here, ladies and gentlemen, a National Sprint Car Hall of Famer. And like I told you, you absolutely deserve that. And you are very excited to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a great honor for anyone to be inducted into the absolutely. National Sprint Car yeah. Hall of Fame. It certainly was a career highlight for me. Absolutely. Well, Bruce, I'm going to let you get uh, back to take your notes. Take, thank you for taking some time. 
Thank you for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Ellis, the voice of Williams Grove Speedway.